So do we have any questions for tonight? From all this talk on ishq and, and love and Allah <coughs> brought us to this immense love. That's why the importance of recognizing such nights with the immensity of this power. Imagine the immensity of teaching the realities that every secret of every womb of everything coming into existence, that secret when it comes to creation who holds the keys for all secrets? You think in each individual womb has the code or there's a master code holder like blockchain, something holds the key and everything else is just using its secret. Who's the key holder? Miftah Rahmah is the name of Sayyidina Muhammad The key holder for Allah is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad the real blockchain that they're just beginning to tap into its understanding. They're throwing that secret into all these wombs and each one thinking they have the secret to bring creation in. But no, it's key holder and it's reality of every knowledge because everything coming into existence has a knowledge. When Allah gave that knowledge from Surat Al-Iqra, huh? خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَقْ I created this insan from alaq. Then all the doctors jump in, oh alaq is a cling, clinging cloth that clings to the womb. Right? Khalaqa al-insan min Am I pronouncing correctly? You're looking at me, I said the wrong word. Khalaqa al-insan min alaq, huh? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Uh huh. Say, say it. Alhamdulillah, say this. It is, it is, right, alaq? So this al al alaq ayn lam qaf. Yes? Nam yes, yes. yes? Okay. So it means then the creating and son min by the Muhammadan nur, Allah's telling us this secret. So when the people say, Shaykh, where you get this stuff? You make this stuff up? Some of it. But the other part of it, no it's made in Qur'an, Allah is giving us the huruf of the Qur'an, Khalaq al-insan, Khalaq al-insanu min, mim, noon, Muhammadan nur, alaq, ayn, lam, qaf. Right? Ayn, Allah's ancient knowledge, lam, wa lisan al-haq. Qaf wal Qur'an in Majeed. It means this ulum from Holy Qur'an that moves to the reality of the Muhammadan nur to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad So everything coming into existence is with a secret that given to Sayyidina Muhammad That secret he gave to the reality and to the mother of all wombs, Sayyidatina Fatima That's why they say Batul, purified, the womb that never needed to be cleansed. The womb that never needs to be cleansed, the purified womb, the vessel in which carries the reality that brought the reality of a Rahman and Rahim into this world by the reality of the physicality of Sayyidina Imam al Hassan a.s. Wa Imam al Husayn as salam. But the essence of the nukht from Imam Ali as salam into the purified womb of Sayyidatina Fatima the Zar as salam, Allah brought the reality of Sifat al Rahman and Rahim into existence on this earth through their physicality. Imam al Hassan represents Sifat al Rahman and Imam al Husayn represents Sifat al Rahim. It means from that immensity, imagine we're gathering for this love and for this ish, for their birthday. So when they talk about all the magnetism and all the attraction, 
You don't think by building that love, building that love Prophet teaching you be with whom you love. They recognize that love, they feel that love, they're attracted to your love for them and as a result their love is always emanating towards your reality. And it's not that you, you have to love them by always having to need something from them. But you love them for the virtue of the immensity of the secret within their reality and I just love you. And a result of that love I'm coming and gathering for you, giving water for you, trying to put out food for you, do any type of goodness in your name, under your nazar, under your blessings that you dress me from that light and dress me from that love inshaAllah. And by means of this ishq. This magnet of ours which not under our control immediately begin to levitate towards them and move towards them. And they are the best of those whom to put your heart and your love and your time towards. Everything else is not comparison, dunya people not comparison. But when you love the reality and you love whom Allah loves from Nabiin, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin which is the category of all of these beloved Ahlul Bayt, beloved Ashab al Nabi the beloved awliya fi samahi wa fil ard who dedicated their lives and dedicate their lives to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is the best of love, this is the best of what to put our heart and direct our heart towards them that it continuously dresses us eternally. Imagine that if people who put their heart into the material world that's 70 years, 80 years, it's like a dot. When somebody comes and tells you, why you don't put your love and your time into something eternal? Which eternal is a linear equation that's infinite. You want to put your time on something infinite or you want to put your time, your money and your effort on a dot? that in the, in the midst of the infinite line it's not even visible, means it's wasted. And that's why Allah describes for us, teaches for us that to put this ishq and this love towards that which is eternal inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amri yasifun, as salaamun al mursaleen, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, Muhammad Muhammad al-Mustafa, Bisiru Surat al-Fatiha.